Hey, everybody. Welcome to Brew Chats with Charlie, episode nine. Uh, in our last brew chat, we talked about the native lager, which is just a simple, clean, refreshing beer that pretty much anybody can drink and the locals love it. Um, this time, we're going to cover something a little bit different. I know last week I teased about another Lincoln's Beard beer. It is and it isn't. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to give a little bit of backstory before we officially start the review. Um, so one of the owners of Lincoln's Beard Brewing um, had a dispute and decided to branch out and make his own spot. Uh, his dream spot was to make something that was just a community hangout spot, a place where anybody can go, a place where that, you know, that's low key. Um, and he decided to create Strange Beast. The reason why it's called Strange Beast is um, because the theme is Japanese monster movies. Uh, when you translate Strange Beast to Japanese, it is the, it is the name of uh, the Japanese monster movies. So I mean Godzilla, I mean Mothra, I mean all, you know, that whole generation of Japanese film. So this place is a pretty small hole in the wall type of place, but of course it's upscale. Um, looks a lot like a place in Wynwood. Um, and what they, he decided to do was to combine two of the, of the best combinations ever, which is beer and pizza. So he has his own pizza. So he got his own pizza oven and they make artisan pizzas, um, that are pretty small and they're all really good. He uses quality ingredients. Um, and they're fantastic. I think one, my favorite one is actually called the baby Godzilla. It's really, really good. Um, but he also decided to do beer. They were a little bit slow in making their own beer. I figured, I figured they wanted to get the pizza stuff sorted out. So the first beer that Strange Beast officially came up with was a very juicy and hazy IPA. Um, and that beer is called Lawyers Don't Surf. Lawyers Don't Surf. Um, I don't know what the name of the mean is. So I wish I had some inspirational thing in the name to tell you, but no, I guess they don't surf. Um, now, Strange Beast was really popular, and actually, uh, the owner of Strange Beast uh, actually was able to buy back Lincoln's Beard, so he owns both uh, now. And with that, so they actually brew this beer at Lincoln's Beard. This is like a Lincoln's Beard extension. Um, they sell, they have their own unique beer as well as you know through Lincoln's Beard. They're, the Lincoln's Beard brews are being distributed there. Um, and it's a really good spot. In my opinion, it's got some of the best pizza in Miami. Um, in my in my honest opinion, it's not even in Miami. It's in uh, West Kendall, um, which is just a whole nother suburb neighborhood. Um, so Lawyers Don't Surf. Uh, it's a very juicy, hazy IPA. Um, runs you at 6.9%. Um, so it's very juicy. Does And... Uh, it probably doesn't taste uh, like 6.9%. So let's just open this up. All right. So the glass. So as you can see, this thing is super cloudy, super hazy, thus the hazy IPA. Just enough head on it. Perfect. Um, so from just pouring the can into the, into the glass, I could smell the juice. I could smell the fruits. Um, you can definitely get some, you definitely have a little bit of guava. You have a little bit of mango in there. Um, so I can just smell that right away. Um, and that's just from pouring it. <laughs> I didn't even put my nose to it yet. Uh, yeah, this is definitely these these uh, an IPA a juice bomb, like I've been calling them, um, that are very fruity, very juicy, um, refreshing. Takes a lot from the from the hop, you know, from the bitter hop flavor. Um, you know, this is, is definitely one of the more popular beer styles in Miami. Um, everybody's kind of making a high, uh, hazy IPA, even. Uh, well, Winwood Brewing Company is making one using Icelandic hops, so which I'm going to try that. I'm probably going to buy some, and 
I will do a review of it. But anyway, hell of an aroma. It doesn't even taste like a, you know any beer thing. It just tastes super juicy. It is. Wow. Yeah, it's it's very juicy. Um, it's a hazy juice bomb IPA. Incredibly smooth. Um, you definitely get a bit of a hop flavoring at the end, but it's not overpowering. It's not very strong, um, but it's very smooth. Um, tastes a lot like a juice. And like I said before, this doesn't really taste like 6.9%. So definitely be careful with this. Um, it was a great deal. I got a four pack, uh, a four pack of these uh, for 18 bucks, which really isn't bad because they're usually 20. Um, this is their probably their first beer, their most popular house beer as well. Um, the there's a little bit of an aftertaste, but um, it's still good nonetheless. Um, if you're look, if you're somebody who you know likes craft beer but isn't really into the beer the traditional beer flavor definitely try this out uh, it's got a tad bit of bitterness but other than that it's just a super super juicy refreshing um summer style of beer um that's the way I, that's the way i put it um it's a, it's a it's a style that's very popular down here um it's, you know um it's a beer that almost yeah that essentially doesn't taste like a beer um but it's their first one. Plus with Lincoln's Beard, um, having that, there's definitely gonna be a lot more creativity going through. Um, they've, they've done a, Strange Beast has done a stout that actually um, mixes, it's called ice cream. So there's an ice cream shop next door to Strange Beast and they actually made a stout with their ice cream. Cool stuff. Um, so with that, guys, thank you very much for uh, listening to this. Um, definitely check out Strange Beast Brew Pub. It's a pretty small place. It's even smaller now with COVID-19 restrictions. Their their pizza is phenomenal. You you have to. I know it'll be out of way out of the way for a lot of folks, but the pizza is phenomenal. Um, I highly recommend it. They have everything from meats, vegan, white pies. Um, highly recommend the baby duck Godzilla. The Shroom 2.0 and Doug's White Pie. Those are really good pizzas. Um, well, lawyers don't surf. I learn something new every day. Thank you very much, guys. Take care and uh, like and subscribe.